we are back. We're talking about hard times too. Before people moan about the attendance, the building that they were in was funded by the federal government. Yes. So they have to go with Whatever. federal government yes. attendance schedule for COVID. So but they did a pretty good job. Despite all of that, they did a great job with the presentation. Yeah, it looked really good. The crowd was, was really into yep. it too. And I was really happy about that. Um, this one really that was a great palate cleanser from after that. Uh, we did not watch the pre-show at all. So those matches are not in the table. Right. You didn't watch it, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, not. good. Uh, let's start off with our first match: Austin Aries and Red Titus. Despite my personal grievances to Austin Aries, he's kind of a dick, but he's an awesome wrestler. Yeah, he actually did pretty well tonight. Of course, a great, a great opening match. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just good. Yeah, it was a really <laughs> fun match. It was a sweet brain buster. He's such a crisp brain buster yeah. guy. A really good opener for Austin Aries to win. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not he will, surprised either. He will most likely win this NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship thing. Okay, if they're bringing in as many people as they are that the NWA is kind of doing, I am okay with them introducing another title, but come on. Can we can we stop with introducing these titles? No. I'm, it's 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 kind of getting ridiculous. No, now. NWA is where all the indie indie people go and get their exposure. So I that's guess. fine. That's as, as long as they defend yep. these championships on other shows, and I'm going to be okay with well, it. Well, they have been doing that. I guess I wouldn't have really done anything different with no. this. Maybe yeah. maybe do a little more promo on Power, but, but whatever. You know. Um, I have mixed feelings about this one. So OGK Aaron Stevens Kratos for the Ring of I was, Honor I was World kind of confused about why this match was in here. Were there like a rivalry going into it or something? Um, it, I think there was like a challenge set by Stevens and Kratos oh, for okay. them. And also, it looks like OGK is going to be going to the NWA, right. which I do not mind. They need that star power in the NWA, and I think it's a great place for Because I think what they're going to do is they might be merging the ROH Tag Team Champions with the NWA Tag Team Champions. We already see one. Oh, well, no, we'll talk about that yeah. during Final Battle. Um, but we've already seen one about a title unification, mm -hmm. so I think this would make sense, and also that would right. be a great match for... Um, What's the next NWA paper? I don't know. I don't think they've announced it. But anyway, OGK did win this match mm -hmm. with a forearm roll up on Aaron Stevens, which I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the aggression from Steven and Kratos, though. I hope they continue with the yep. tag team. But overall, I thought this was a fun match, and Aaron Stevens lost his mind, which I love. Yeah, I, I really I, I did like that number one. Too. The commentary team. This had to be the one of the best commentary teams out of the four shows. Oh God, yes. Um, they really explained that whole thing. So I they actually did got actually the a great job. And it, again, these matches. I mean, you you said, oh my gosh, there's so many, but they paced this show. They did. So that was well. the uh, that was the other thing. They had a lot of. There were 14 matches on this, but and they I was, paced it really well. I think they did. There wasn't one match that felt like it should have gone longer. Right. Oh, I agree with you. And every single match felt important enough to be on the show. Mm -hmm. This is hard times too. Like right. it felt like a big show. Um, Doug Williams, he did sign with them, so yes. he is going him, and um, now uh, Nick Aldis are bringing back British Invasion, which I love. Nice. Um, but he looks old. He looked horrible. Oh, he yeah. looked ancient. His body looked really bad. Colby Carino is really small, but I kind of like his two big bodyguards. Right. Um, they really built up how he is like that second-generation wrestler really yeah. well, because he is. And the match itself was okay. Yeah, this was the weakest um, out of all the matches, yeah, I think. Yeah, um, it was a spinning crucifix slam that just looked really sloppy. Yep. Um, the communication was not there. Mm -hmm. I think because of Colby Carino's just general inexperience. That'll come back over time. Yeah. Um, but Doug Williams, uh, limit his uh, prowess in the ring. Yeah. He did not look good. No. Uh, the, yeah, this was probably one of the weakest matches of the yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely. It was still fine. It was, yeah. This was awesome. This was a great match. I was shocked. Yeah. This was so well paced. Obviously, Kira Hogan, Mickey James for the Impact Knockouts World Championship. Uh, obviously, it was a counter, keeping Kira Hogan strong. Yeah. Um, I was so mean to Kira Hogan like a couple of years ago because I thought she was not going to amount to anything. 
she has really come into her own as oh, a wrestler. Yeah. And she is quickly becoming one of my favorite women's wrestlers right now yeah. on anybody that's not in WWE. Right. She has really gotten this. And this match was stellar. Just, well, yeah. She was, I mean, Mickey James trained her, essentially. Right. So it was, it was a stellar match. They did a great presentation with it and everything. It was it was good. Oh yeah, and the crowd was super into it. Oh, yeah. I loved this match. A lot of great history, and that's what I like about NWA. NWA puts a lot of um, thought into the historic part of right. what these I just, matches I just, mean. I just like the feel and the presentation oh, yeah. of NWA. I just, it's something so different. Right. It's just so nice. It's 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 all about the wrestling. It's not necessarily about the pageantry. It's just right. I mean, and, 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 and even and even then, there is a lot of different pageantry oh, yeah. stuff to it. I think their a commentary team is really good. I like the um, I like the interview area. Yeah. I think the interview area looks really clean. Um, just it's just so different yep. that it makes it feel interesting. Yeah, it so does. I really like it. This was a great match. It though. was. I love the rivalry with this. I like this one was one um, of my Tyrus, Tyrus with the rivalry. Is, Tyrus is becoming a lot better in the ring. Yes, he is. He's starting to become into that. I love didn't, didn't he take some time off though? Isn't that why he was really bad at first? But now that yeah. he's now that he's more regular. Yeah. Um yeah, he's more regular. Um he was doing a lot of the stuff because you know he is the he has um that analyst on Fox. He's right. still he's still doing that. But he does. He him. has the belt with him whenever he's doing his yeah, analysis. Yeah, it's, it's it's really big so, too. So it's so it's actually really popular. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's really good. And uh, yeah, Tyrus Sion. Um, I think they had a they had a great um promo package for they this did. that got me excited. I love the, the, the Austin. match. The match, you know, of course there were, there was like what well, it was a grudge match. So there were like you know there was a lot of spots and, and the, stuff yeah, the involved. Pope, the, the Pope being the special guest referee, I thought that was great. Yep. Um, Tyrus like really said, poking that bear. Right. They're putting a lot of thought into these matches. There was which there is was great. thought into it, yeah. and especially with this match. I mean, this was great. Oh yeah. Um, and I will say, Tyrus, he's he's looking better. Yep. I think personally. And also just um, getting back whole, into that ring shape. Yeah, the whole Austin Idol faction, where it's with Tyrus, um, Clearwater, no, 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 it's, no. Just... Um, it's they don't have an official name yet. It's the Austin Idol group. Oh, that's right. So it's Tyrus, um, Jordan Clearwater, and then there was another guy who's with it. But all of them just played their part so well. Yeah, and it was just really fun. The Pope hit double knees, um, and then a heart punch where the Pope he just he didn't want to count it. It yep. was so. Well done. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. I, I was grinning ear to ear. It was just amazing. It I was. loved I, I love this match. It was a great palate cleansing match. Oh, yes, match. it was. This one exceeded my expectations, yep. but they're keeping Judaea strong. They are. And I think that was good. So it was a um, Adonis lock, and I liked how, um, I, I think it was Velvet Sky who said she's, um, he's keeping a... Um, a uh, master lock on the NWA National Heavyweight <laughs> Champion. <Right. laughs> and I thought that was awesome. Also, no interference from yeah. Strictly or Strictly Business, no. which I thought was awesome, which is great. So, yes, Adonis is still the national champion. I'm yep. not for I'm, I, I liked it. I'm yep. fine with it. It was, it was good. And also, once again, Judas is still strong. Yep. Um, okay. This one was an interesting. There was something missing. There was from this match. Um, obviously, for the NWA um, World Tag Team Champions, Re La Rebellion versus the End. Uh, they did they talk about that the End won a big tournament to get to this spot? Yeah, they did. They, they had a did. promo package for it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what it was. There was something missing. It definitely was out of all the championship matches. I think this one was. This the one was the weakest, in my opinion, yep. too. I think so. Um, there was a something there, but what I liked is though, number one, La Rebellion with 450. So they are still the champions, which is great. Yeah. Also, they're taking those titles down to Mexico. So they're defending the championships around, which I think is great. Yeah. So yeah, they're working with the crash promotion. Yep. Um, really good and dies with that. But um, JTG and Dirty Dango, formerly yeah. known as Fandango, great place for him, yeah, by the way. Absolutely. Also, they uh, did talk about the history between the two. Yeah. Them interested in the tag title scene. I'm interested. It's something engaging. Yeah. And um, I'm not. I was not mad about this match. It was just the weakest out of the it matches. Was. But you know, there has to be a weak match. There does. Someone has to be at the bottom. Right. <sighs> 
I expected more. I did too. I expected this a did this did not feel like a grudge match. Yeah, you know, you know how I said, uh, you know, I think that they gave the match the right amount of time. Mm -hmm. But I think that this was a very it was it was a, a poorly executed match, but it it could have been better executed. Right. Um, the only thing was is that it of didn't have of a big fight feel to me. Right. Of a grudge match. I am expecting them to go all out with it. Just mm -hmm. weapons and pillage and any something more akin to a fight. Yeah. This did not feel like a fight. This felt like a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't have been. Especially with the rivalry going into it. They showed a package of their personal lives. How close these two were and how big the attack was. Here's here's a thought. Here's a thought. This match could have involved those weapons and stuff, but I feel like they should have had another promotion do it on their behalf. Like Maybe. Impact or AEW. Um, one of those, because I feel like with with a promotion like that, because this this one feels like the clean cut promotion. You know what I mean? I think I think I with, think I think, it, I think with it being more of the clear cut promotion, that would have made that even better. Like like because, have the because weapons this, involved with that. Yeah, this goes above and beyond the NWA. This is too personal. Right. And especially at something like Hard Times Two, they should have emphasized that. They just they it was a missing opportunity. It was for me. There was just something different and I did not like it. Yeah. And that was the only thing. I would have added weapons. Yeah. I would have added um like a steel cage. That, and that, then again, again, you are working with the limitations I know, I know. of the arena. If they wanted to do this match, have another promotion do it on their behalf. Right. Maybe false count anywhere. That would have been cool. Where like the crowd but, was could like right. follow that. But, That'd be really right. cool. Right. But again, it's something that they couldn't do with the limitations they were given. So right. I understand it, but they should have had somebody else right. just work it for right. Them. This was what did I say about? Oh, there was, so before this, there was a jazz segment that there I thought, was. I liked that. It was it was okay. It wasn't it wasn't as it didn't feel as special as the um, Awesome Kong segment. Yeah, and I don't know if Jazz retired or not. She is. She's officially done. She is not wrestling anymore. Okay, so was that her official retirement speech? Oh, yes, that, that was her official retirement speech because she was the NWA Women's Champion. At one time. Okay, but yeah. that didn't feel like that. You know what I mean? It didn't feel as it didn't feel like a retirement speech. You don't think so? No, I thought it was. I, it didn't feel like an awesome, you know, like Awesome Kong's retirement speech, right. for example. That one was better than this one was, but it was still nice to see her. Right. Um, she looks good. I'll at least say that. Um, so Camille Melina for the NWA Women's World Champion. This was a brutal match. These, it was. These two chicks beat the crap out of each oh, other. Oh, God, yes. Honestly, to me, this felt like more of a grudge match than this one. Oh, absolutely. Maybe, and I wouldn't change a thing. Mm -mm. Melina looks really good. Yep. And also, I, I really liked how she worked the leg of Camille. Yeah. And they really built that the match around Melina being that scientific veteran. Yep. Where Camille is still trying to do the power, but still got the spear in for the win. Right. This was awesome. Yeah, I absolutely. Loved, I love this. This one felt a little rush at the end, but I, I, but I did like the overall pacing of the match. Yeah, I did too. And Camille still being the champion, great. And also Melina, despite what people say, Melina's still Melina. She defended the championship at WrestleMania. Yeah. She's still a big name. She is. So I think this was appropriate, keeping Camille looking really strong, right. too. I'm very Absolutely. happy. And we have our main event. Um, For I was initially not excited about Mike Knox, but Mike Knox actually surprised me. You think so? I, I Well, again... So you got two big guys. Right. Uh, would I have chosen a better opponent? Absolutely. Mike Knox does not have that big name feel. Right. But for a match between two big guys, this is kind of what I expected. Right. Because, of course, Trevor Murdoch still moves around like a cruiserweight. He, <laughs> oh, absolutely. And Mike Knox is is actually going toe to toe with him on that. He's not doing all the cruiserweight esque moves. This, but he, I felt like here's, it was here's, someone here's who what I just, here's, it here's was a what brutal I felt. like 
beat him up sort of match. I, I said this was. this was a fun Haas match. It was. But here's my thing. Um, I thought they did a really great time promoting Mike Knox as that person. What I really wanted them to emphasize is Mike Knox wrestling within power because I don't think he ever did. No. I feel like this title match was not earned. And I feel like... As an NW, well, they did for for they, this for, but it was it he was, attacked him like right. that's a not that's not earning the champion. Right. You're weaseling but, your way into right, right. it. But but what um you know what what was missing was a lot of NWA style build. Right, a lot of the build happened outside of the NWA system. Right, and I think that's they where they did not have control over it. If, if if you had Mike Knox winning matches on NWA television to really promote this, making him look like a monster, making him look like he deserves the shots. Right, and I would that's fine. But I, you know, again, very classic storyline going into it. I didn't mind it at all. It actually turned out to be a a good match. I, right, I did not have high expectations for this match, but. I'm glad that the match actually turned out pretty right. well. So uh, Murdoch hit that top rope bulldog. I love that move, by the way. Yeah. Um, for the win, and Matt Cardona comes out wanting to congratulate him, but then Knox attacks him, and then Cardona joins him, and then holds the championship up. So it looks like we might have the next contender once again. Please, I'm. Go I, I know he wrestles for another company more full time, which with Impact. But if you're going to have Murdoch Cardona for the title, have you Cardona have to have Cardona wrestle. wrestle at NWA so the crowd can get to see it. Right. And even better, have Murdoch go to Impact so that people— With, the, with that title. With the That'd title, be cool. Yeah. So that people can get more familiar with Trevor Murdoch and the NWA. Right. Have that cross promotion really be there? They have the opportunity to create a very powerful rivalry going into this, but I because need to they, see... they 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 have a couple of months to right. do this now because I don't know when the next NWA show is. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to cover it, and yep. we don't even know if that's going to be the actual contender. Right, but that's just kind of what's going on there. Anyway, um, I. I liked Hard Times. It was. Overall. I liked it as well. Like I said, well paced, very well produced. Yeah. Uh, very well produced show. Very seamless. Yep. Um, and, the commentary and, yep. is just great. I I just I love the chemistry with all of them. Yep. It feels so different, yes. and it's just it's just a treat to watch an NWA show. I love watching Power. I watch it. I I watch it semi weekly. Um, maybe I'll do like the reviews that I usually do and cover start covering that. But you know, I cover a bunch of other things right. that piss me All off. All right, so. it's two down and two to go. So when we come back, we are going to cover war games. War games. <laughs> 